Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 2 to the power of square root of x and this equals 8 power x. We are solving for all values of x that satisfies this equation. Now, whenever you have an exponential equation like this, ensure that the bases are the same. So here we have 2 and here we have 8. I can simply express it as 2 times 2 times 2 meaning 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So I have 2 raised to the power of square root of x equals 8 is 2 to the power of 3. And this is raised to the power of x. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So we are going to multiply these exponents. You have 2 power square root of x. And this equals 2 power 3x. So right now, if you have a power n, and this equals a power m, then you can have n equals m. So we can equate these exponents. We simply have square root of x equals 3x. So we need to solve for x. We can decide to take the squares of the power of this equation. This eliminate this, we have x equals, we can distribute this to each of the terms here. Remember, you have a times b raised to the power of c. This equals a power c times b power c. So this will give us 3 power 2 times x power 2. So from here, I have x equals 3 power 2, that is 9 times x power 2. So from here, I have x equals, this is 9 x squared. So at this point, I can decide to divide this by x, divide this by x. x cancel x, I have 1 equals 9x squared divided by x. This cancel one of this. So I have 1 equal this is 9x. So I can rearrange this. I have 9x equals 1. I divide this by 9. Divide this by 9. 9 cancel 9. I have x equals 1 over 9. Now this is giving us one solution. I can decide to recopy this problem again. I have x equals 9x squared. I can move this over here. I have 9x squared minus x equals 0. So what are you going to do is I can factor out x. I have x times 9x minus 1 equals 0. I can have x equals 0. I have net x minus 1 equals 0. To solve this, what we need to do is move this negative 1 over here. I have net x equals 1. I divide this by 9. I divide this by 9. 9 cancel 9. I have x equals 1 over 9. This is giving us two values for x x equals 0 and x is 1 over 9. So guys, that is it. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to check by inserting the two values for x. Half x equals 0. Also half x equals 1 over 9. Half to power square root of x equals 8 power x. If x equals 0, what I'm going to do is I have to power this square root of 0 equals 8 power 0. So at this point, square root of 0 is 0. I have 2 power 0 equals 8 power 0. So any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. This is 1. And 8 power 0 is 1. Left hand side equals right hand side. So let's consider when x equals 1 over 9. 
after power square root of x equals a power x and our x is 1 over next f to power square root of 1 over 9 equals f power 1 over 9. Now, if you have square root of a over b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So our a is 1, our b is 9 here, so we are going to have 2 power square root of 1 divided by square root of 9 equals 8 power 1 over 9. So from here you have 2 power square root of 1 is 1 divided by square root of 9 is 3 and this equals 8 power 1 over 9. Now if you have 8, this is 2 times 2 times 2 and this is 2 to the power of 3. So at this point I can have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 2 power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 9. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So I'm going to multiply this out. I will simply have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 2 power 3 times 1 raised to the power of 9. And 3 can cancel itself once, cancel 9, we have 3. F to power 1 over 3 equals 2 power 1 over 3. So if you have a power 1 over n, this equals n power a power 1, and this equals n power a. So we can apply the same identity here and here. We have cube root of the power, which equals the cube root of the power. And this is cube root of the power 1 is 2. And this equals cube root of 2. Both sides are the same. So guys, this is how you can solve this exponential problem. Fast and correct. Now, for you to solve this, what you need to do is Make sure the two bases are the same, and for the two bases to be the same, you express this in terms of 2, which is 2 times 2 times that is 2 power 3. Then, since the bases are the same, you equate the exponent. After that, you solve the exponent. In this case, we have square root here, so we needed to take the squares. After taking the squares, we also had to distribute this square to the terms you have here. And at this point, we have equation, a quadratic equation. You can solve it in two ways. The first way will be to divide by x. After dividing by x, we have 1 over 9. The second way is to form a proper quadratic equation by factoring out x. So this will give us two different solutions, which are x equals 0 and x equals 1 over 9. So ladies and gentlemen, what you are going to do will be to insert these particular values back to the original equation. And when once you do that, you start with when x equals 0, you set it back. You are going to have 2 power 0, which is the same thing as 8 power 0, because square root of 0 is 0. So you are going to have in the number the power 0 is 1. You have 1 on the put side. That is correct. You also inserted 1 over 9 for x, and this will give you this. Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 9 is 3. Then you express this in terms of 2, which is 2 power 3. Then at the end, the both sides of this equation will be the same, and you can't further simplify it by making use of this identity. You are going to have cube root of 2, which is the same thing as cube root of 2 in the other side of the equation. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.